Boba Chair, welcome to the table. It is 9 o'clock Saturday evening, November 18th. And I have set up for you Vimiro, August 1808, from the base core box set of commands and colors. There's just so many scenarios with this system. And as mentioned previously, numerous times, this is the sole driving force, other than the style of play, perhaps, is to my liking. It's uh, streamlined and kind of quick play. But really, it's the scenarios that are the driving force behind my continuing to try and utilize them in such a way that I beef it up a little bit, but not too much. And the latest iteration consists of a two-pager rules modification. So, you know, honestly, to add things is easy. But to add a bunch of things and then edit it, streamline it, chop it down is pretty challenging. But uh, I've got a good go here. And um, I feel like the stuff that I've boiled down here is it's all things bits and pieces that I've incorporated over months and months and months of doing this stewed down to, to this perhaps I've said that before but <clears throat> this time I mean it so British Portuguese French oh uh, you will possibly notice the ASL counters and the leaders I've done this before I've come back to it a number of ways that I've been doing this, as you are well aware, cards, Sagrada dice, all kinds of things. It makes for fun, unpredictable, more unpredictable stuff, but the, again, the realism is a little lacking, so we're coming back to the ASL leaders. And uh, what else? We've got the... So, essentially, the, the latest challenge that I placed upon myself was to use the same dice system for everything. For combat, for morale checks and rallies, and for command. So, I think I've stuck with that for the most part. But anyway, enough talking. We've got uh, a leader. A chit in here for each on-map leader. So that helps drive home the number of leaders that each side has. It was pretty even, well, dead even actually. Three on each side. If you see a uh, command stand over here, it has no function as of yet. We also have a commander in chief for the French over here off camera. Just pretty to look at. I may at some point uh, wedge in some sort of function for the commander in chief, but uh, as of now, I haven't, and that is sticking with the whole editing and chopping the fat off, not adding things just because you can. So here we go, we'll draw the dice. Shouldn't be too long of a video, we're just going to do the opening here, and then I plan to come back tomorrow and possibly finish it live. So, French shit, what does that mean? That means we start with... Our lowest ranked leader, which is this 7 neg 0 here. What he will want to do is roll 7 or less to activate units within two hexes. If he fails to do so, which he did, then it switches to individual unit activations. Again, still within two hexes. We'll start from left to right. So here, and it's 6 or less for individual unit activations. If you fail... That is simply uh, a fail for that unit. It is not a fail for the um, turn. So he's good. Uh, six or less here. He's good. Again, my mnemonic devices because I forget things. And how about here? No, he failed. One, two. Not too worried about cavalry as such yet, but... Good to know they can do things. So we have now three units instead of four 
that can act. Had he made his initial command, well, we would have been able to activate all four. And then it just drops to your basic commands and colors. Game system, you can move up one for line. And conduct moving range fire if there were somebody in range, there is not. And what did I do? I just moved somebody that did not activate. That would be this, is what I meant to do. Move up one under the hill, he's done. These will move up two here. Because they're light infantry, they can move two. Finished. We'll keep our leader here. And light cavalry, we'll move them. We'll place them right here. Kind of keep them in a bit of a reserve role. Nothing we can do with them at this point. So that's that. Draw another shit. And we get the British. Big surprise. British, British, British. Put these here. <clears throat> so British, same thing. We'll find our lowest ranked leader, which is 790 here. So we have one, two, these four units here that could potentially activate if he gets his command roll, seven or less. He does with a seven. Um, okay. Everybody. So we'll move up one here. Conduct moving ranged fire. Give me this, please. Am I actually recording? Yes, okay. Moving range fire. We'll move. Yeah. Awesome, Fefa. And conduct moving range fire. And we'll move our foot artillery at one, even though our line of sight is blocked. We shall still do that. <clears throat> now, let me check one thing here. I may have already messed something up again. <clears throat> How is this presented? Presented such that these guys shouldn't have moved. I don't know what's wrong with me. Sorry about that. So they stay there. They're out of the two hex range. That's why. <clears throat> Everybody else good? Yes. Those four units. Okay, we're 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 back. So one, two. These guys moved. Move these guys up. All apologies. <clears throat> Make sure we're doing this right. And then we'll move into the, I guess you call it a town, a village here. Why do we want to put that? Visual representation means something to me. <clears throat> Fairly important. Let's scoot them up so we can place one here. Okay. <clears throat> We're good there. All right, um, and they get moving range fire. Yes, yes. That just took way too long. Okay, who are we gonna fire at? We'll fire here. <clears throat> Artillery has uh, has a lane. No, they don't. They moved anyway. So that should be it. Yes, yes. All right, leader. Does he want to move? Yes, he does. He'll move here, and. Well, it's fire. So the fire is different. <clears throat> we still use the commands and colors number of dice that need to be rolled. So for the British having moved line, that's going to be two. Yes, two. When we look at our house rules here, fire. Two would be six or less. So we need six or less. Six, seven, eight, nothing there. And six or less here. Six, seven, eight, nothing. 
Well, that stinks. All right. And then we draw another, another chip. Had we rolled equal or less, then, then we would have a uh, combat result. A number of things that could take place, depending on a additional die roll. The British go again. So now we'll activate our next highest up leader, which should be this 8 meg 0. Then we have an 8 meg 1 here. So 8 or less on him. <clears throat> And everyone's happy. Roll a 10. No one's happy. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. A lot of folks he can activate. Or a lot of folks that can activate themselves, rather. All right, six or less here. Um, the uh, 95th rifles fail to activate. Now, I may tack on some modifiers, so for instance, six or less, minus one, since they're rifles, etc. Catch my drift. you got to be careful tacking on modifiers. You can go overboard with that fairly easily. Five, six, seven, nothing there. Four, five, six, seven, nothing there. Six, seven, nothing there. We're looking for six or less, for God's sakes. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten there. What about in the town? Seven, and then two cavalry units. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow. Six, seven, nobody activated. I don't know that this has happened before. Draw another chip. It is a British chip, the final chip, which is an eight neg one over here. Now he only has two units. He is also eight or less. He gets his roll, for goodness sakes. Uh, we'll move them up one here. The river is fordable. There's uh, no concern about needing to use bridges or anything like that. Portuguese line is what these are. They'll simply move up one, because that's all they're allowed to move. The next two chits are both French, so we will move from that seven neg zero to our eight neg zero here. And Let's just roll A or less, eh? Six, we get it. So, one, two. One, two, one, 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 two. So everybody in the center can go since he made his activation. Um, keeping the cavalry here. I want to keep the artillery here. I think. One, two, three, four. That's quite a ways. Maybe I will move them up. You'll also notice white dice for each artillery unit on both sides. That is your ammunition counter. Keep track of how many times you fired. Once you've fired five times, you run out of ammo. And what does that mean? Essentially, that means you can only then fire at adjacent units with the uh, lowest firepower. So that is everybody. This is actually Grenadiers, I believe, and they may have, yeah, they may have a, nope, still just one movement factor. We'll move him up one here. Um, nobody in range, so that's that. And then our final die is also French. We get uh, our eight meg one here. Roll for him. Roll the 12. That's a fail. Now, had that been an individual unit roll, if that rolled a 12, he would blunder. Which should sound familiar to those of you who play Black Powder. Yes, it's a fun rule. So now we roll for everybody who's in two X's, which is everyone. Starting here. Six or less, we get a seven. How about here? Five, six, seven. Give me a six, please. Ten. I'm going to chuck these dice out the window. Five. We are light. Gets a go. Um, that screws everybody else. I can move. Maybe. Nope. Seven. And what? Twelve. Oh, he blunders. You know what? He blunders off the map. I don't roll. There's no blunder chart for this. It's just one. If you... Roll a 12 on a individual unit command check, you retreat one hex. 
And uh, that's what happened to him. These guys can't do anything. So that just leaves this. Light infantry, standing range fire. It's going to be five. Five translates to nine or less. Surely, no it doesn't. It translates to because we're firing into a town. Seven or less. Would be nine or less, but it's not. Ooh, we get a six. That's a hit. So we can roll on our combat results. We roll one d6. We get a three. It's a thing. They are shaken. One or two would be a morale check. Those morale checks are modified by uh, each stand or block, I guess, removed. Uh, four would be remove a stand. Five would be retreat one hex and remove a stand. And six would be retreat one hex, remove one stand, shaken. And if there's a commander in the same hex, he is wounded. That is a quote-unquote turn. I know there's not turns and commands and colors, but we ran through, cycled through everyone on the board. So that is a quote unquote turn. Now, beginning of each turn, you get a free, you don't need to be in command or roll or draw a chit. Anybody that's broken, a shaken unit, there's no broken combat result. It's a shaken unit that becomes shaken again, breaks. So at the beginning of each turn is a kind of rally phase and you simply roll to uh, rally those broken units. And to do that, you just need to be in command and roll a seven or less, I believe. And there are also possibilities there. I've always liked this. Again, it comes from the past squad leader. I've used this a number of times. Uh, if you roll a two and you're under strength, you gain one stand back. If you roll a 12, you lose a stand, and that occurs for when you conduct a rally or a morale check. So that's how that works. More fun stuff. Uh, I do like, I always have liked random events, but um, there's a certain way that that needs to be done. Um, it doesn't do you any good to roll a, a random event that you can't benefit from at that moment. So if it's something that you need to uh, hang on to, as it were, and wait to use, I don't know how effective that is overall for um, my purposes. So again, random events, if they're going to be worked in here, they need to be more of an immediate now have a more immediate now effect so not to say they won't be in here but um, you just have to be cognizant of that so that is one round let's do one more as yeah, is a time stamp of 18 minutes I've got about 10 minutes to hockey so the Blues and now Los Angeles Kings tonight the Blues were on a tear for about three games and then they dropped back down to reality by losing to San Jose, in embarrassing fashion, got completely spanked. Worst team in the league. San Jose with the historically worst start in NHL history. And Blues decide to become their third victim. All right, so British turn. Again, we start with our, and there's nobody to rally because nobody's broken. We start with our lowest ranked leader. And how did I assign these leader ranks? I just randomly did it. Uh, but again, you'll do... Seven and then an eight and then an eight and egg one and if you still have more leaders yet to be ranked It would go to nine neg one nine negative two and then Ten negative two I guess you could go that route So seven neg zero here. We need seven or less to activate everybody in two hexes. He does get that with a seven These guys can fire these guys can fire these guys, you know what? Do I pull? Pull. I do pull. I pull the um, infantry up one. These little clump foliages are not glued down there by any means. They're just loosely stacked on those little black foam boards. 
I do like that effect. It looks way better than anything so far. You know, the, the trees and the, the, what do you call it, the stumps of the trees, they just don't look right to me. It looks more woodsy like this. It's supposed to be woods, not a single tree. Enough about the trees. They're done. They're done. He moves up one. Now you may have noticed we've got a bit of a conundrum back here. Because those guys <clears throat> are too far back to activate, so I'm going to move our leader back at least one to activate one of those guys and next go round. Fire in here and a standing range fire this time, which will be five. Five on our commands and colors dice, but five here translates to nine or less. So nine or less here. We get <laughs> just barely got it with a nine. So we'll roll a red. Single die six and we get a five, which is pretty good stuff because they're gonna now retreat one hex. And what else, what else? and remove one stand. So they'll drop from a four to a three. We do that with a blue die here. So we can still maintain the uh, epic look of keeping the stands on the table and not removing them. Same here, nine or less going right in here. We did it with a seven, so now we roll our one die six and that is a morale check. Full strength, so it's just a simple seven or less. Debating whether or not to make that a six or less. So that is a four, they pass that. Next chip. Let me mark that. I think that should be lower. I want the individual infantry units or individual units, period, to have. Um, be less ranked lower at least than the leaders okay and that would mean six or less uh, they're f why did I mark them did I forget something here it was why is that there I think that's left over from last turn all right uh, I'm easily confused folks now we get the French Lowest rank leader first, that's our seven neg zero here. Seven or less, can he do it? He cannot, rolls an eight. Six or less here, cannot. Six or less there, he cannot. Six or less here, he can. He'll move up one. Wow, it's a real slow go for this left flank here. And that's about it that we care to do anyway. So next ship, we get French again. Brings us to the center with our eight neg zero and then our next highest, or the highest is this eight neg one here. Neg short for negative. Those are die roll modifiers for rallies and morale checks, remember? All right, crack the back eight or less. So what is it, what's it gonna be, a nine? Of course it is. So we will roll six or less here, seven, of course, six or less here, oh, we gotta go, let's roll up one, right there. Six or less, one, two, six or less here, four, he's good, he'll pull up here, actually he'll pull right here. Um, Six or less here. He's got moving range fire. Uh, seven, so no. And six or less, yeah, six or less here. He gets a six. Good job, good job. That's our grenadiers. Again, you could argue they should have a modifier since they're grenadiers and should probably maybe be 
seven or less instead of six or less. There's so many ways you can do this. My head swims at night with thoughts of modifiers and unit strengths and command activation radiuses. French should typically be uh, moving range fire four. That would be drop to a two. They're on a hill, so that drops even more to a one. And what does that mean for us? That means a five or less. On the two dice, we roll a seven, we get nothing. <clears throat> British. Next is going to be, next highest is going to be this guy again at eight and next zero, which he failed last time, I believe. Eight or less, yes. Six. Awesome. Lots of stuff we can do. We can fire here. We can fire here. We can fire here. We can move one, two, and not fire. Let's light something or other. I think British light. Let's move our rifles up. How far can they move up? How far may ye move, ye roll rifles? Two. So let's get them up there. One, two. That is a three block or three stand strength unit. Light cavalry, we got a couple units of that back here. One, two. We're keeping these guys in the city, in the town, in the whatever it is. That there. About as far as we care to go there, huh? And then here. All right. Mm -hmm. Now let's commence firing. Turn the speakers off because I hear static. Commence firing. That was standing range fire. Let's start with the artillery there. Remember, we have limited ammo so he will drop from a five to a four and that is a two hex range with foot artillery standing range fire is a three for our purposes a three is a seven seven or less rolls a nine so that's lost that does us no good sometimes the dice aren't nice that's going to be five, I believe. Standing range fire for her British line is, even though they're four strength, they do get five. <clears throat> five means nine or less. We get a four as a, a result of what? Morale check. Whoops, I'm cool. That is a big dice tray. I don't know how you would ever miss that. They failed that morale check. So they are shaken from that, and they still have to take another round of fire from the next ones. Nine or less. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They didn't get it. Not a lot going on here as far as carnage. Two chits left. We get a final British chit. That's our folks over here on the British right. Eight and egg one, so eight or less for both of those. We get a seven, good to go. Let's come this way. Um, here, one. They can do moving range fire across the river here. Sorry about bumping the mic. Move him up. Seems like a waste of leader to have him just command two units. Um, those are, or are they? Are those, no, those are regular. I thought those might be Portuguese. Those are regular, British regulars, which means two dice, two dice translates to six or less. Uh, these guys are on a hill, but so are they. So balances out six or less, six, seven, eight, <clears throat> no result. Should be one shit left here. It is. 
Frenchies. Right flank. Eight make one, eight or less. We get a two. Everybody. Everybody gets to activate. I want to go into the woods or. Which reminds me, I need to mark that wood section. I pulled it off. And didn't mark it. So this green, look out. You have eaten and puked and eaten again, and I'm you're done. You're getting nothing else tonight. The cat actually projectile vomited as soon as she was done eating and then ate some more and then it's all gone now, so that's how it goes. Where was I? Here. Yeah. So obviously you can't stack in the woods, so I remove them, put a marker in there to represent woods. Now what was I going to do? Move into the woods after all that? No, I'm not. I'm actually not. I'm going to go here. I am not going to do that. Alright, and then keep those there. Check that out. Got a little bit of something going, starting here. Kind of there, but I feel like something heavy is going on here. I'm going to leave these guys here. I don't want to backstop them from being able to retreat because they'll have to lose a stand if they can't. I guess they could go there, but either way. So that was moving range fire here. Let's conduct that. That's two. Two translates to six or less. Eight. Of course it is eight. Then we go to four, which would be eight or less. Firing into a town becomes six or less because it's minus two. That is a healthy defense factor, yeah. Six or less, something, anything? Nope, a nine. Six or less? No, that's light infantry. Let's redo that. Well, light infantry is five, three, seven or less. <laughs> they roll on 11. Terrible dice rolls. <clears throat> and it may seem like these uh, target rolls are pretty unforgiving, set too high, they're not. <clears throat> it's just bad dice rolls, and that could go with it. any system you use. Bad dice rolls can kill you. All right, so there's the end of that turn. Quote unquote, turn two. Still nobody broken. We've got a shaking unit here, a shaking unit here. We did lose a stand here. Um, <clears throat> And seems like mostly maneuvering thus far. All right, we'll come back to this again. Uh, I plan to do this live, finish this out tomorrow. Tomorrow being Sunday the 19th. Don't know what time. We say uh, Central Standard Time, maybe 11-ish. Yeah, 11-ish, so we'll go with that. All right, guys, talk to you soon.